How's it going, everybody? We got the Nerd Herders here today on our very first episode of our new web yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. We got a stellar audience with us here. We do. So, Mark, what have we got coming up in today's episode? Today we're going to talk about some gaming news. We're going to talk about movie stuff. It's Ooh. not necessarily news, Fun. but... And then we're going to just talk about the things we've been up to lately. Sounds good. So, this is Mark. This is Travis. And we're the Nerd Herders. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so, for the... In <laughs> so... We figured we'd talk about like what it is we do and why we're here on the show today. So, basically, give us a rundown on how you guys started the channel. Well, it all started in my youth, but not really. About two years ago, me and some friends had a couple of lightsabers, we had some cameras, and we were really bored and it was really hot, and we were like, dude, let's make a video where we're fighting with lightsabers. People like that, yeah? We're nerds. Yeah. We know nerds <laughs> who will watch these videos. And we put up a video, and it got a pretty good response. And from there, everything just kind of took off. It was one of those things where I, I had made videos before I had met the Nerd Herders. And um, I, I remember meeting Travis and thinking, you know, they, they make videos. I, I used to make videos. I wasn't super active at the time. And we kind of just, like, got together. And we were like, let's, let's make videos. And so I signed on initially as the editor and cameraman. I was never going to be on the camera. But once you... Uh, once you do it enough, you, you eventually, you know, you want to be on, on the tube sometimes as well. Um, so that's kind of how I got started on it. And uh, people have kind of trickled off. Other people have joined. And what's your and name again? My name's Mark. My name's Travis. And we're the Nerd Herders. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, um, what games have you been playing lately? Been playing any games lately? Watching any movies? Well, the last video game, the newest one that I played, was actually Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I played that one a little bit. It is a fun game. I will say, I am actually a huge fan of the Lego video game franchise, mm -hmm. and this is definitely on par with the last several games they've had with Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, all that good stuff. Um, there's literally hundreds of different characters and there's a character creator in it so you can make your own superhero make mm -hmm. them look like you can mix like spider-man captain america and loki and give them whatever superpower you can imagine you've got this massive virtual lego new york it's pretty fantastic did you have you beat it i have actually um the main story it's pretty easy to get through because i mean lego games are primarily meant for kids mm -hmm. and um i want to say it took me about Two sitting throughs, each about three, four hours each. So it's about a six to eight hour game, depending on how fast you're trying to get through it. But isn't there like open world even after you beat the game? Yeah, there. Like I said, there's the massive New York, which is a mm. huge open world, and there's like dozens of different types of missions you can do. Like heist missions where you stop a bunch of like comic book villains in Lego form from robbing banks and stuff like that. You can chase down cars. Um, What's really fun to do, what I like to do, though, is if you get into one of the uh, the evil villain Lego forms, and you can go around and you can just cause mayhem. You can just destroy yeah. cars. You can tear up buildings. It's it's pretty much the sky's the limit. I had seen videos of, like, Spider-Man just swinging around the town. I feel like I could probably just do that. For Did you play the Amazing Spider-Man tie-in video game? I did. Yes, I did. And I, well, even, even the old ones, Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3, mm -hmm. um... I remember, like, like the game is fun, but just swinging around, Absolutely. having the open world, you know. I love getting to, like, the top of a building. And, and just then jumping off. Well, and then, like, seeing another building, and I'm like, okay, i got to <laughs> get on. There is higher. And trying to get, can you, okay, so Spider-Man swinging around, can you fly around as, like, Iron Man? You can. Every How? character that has a flying ability can fly. Every character that has a web swinging ability, whether it's Spider Man, Carnage, Venom, any of those guys, can they can web swing around. Most of the other people are just going to be running around. But one of the mm. cool things about the open world is you can steal anyone's car. So it's like really, yeah, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. So but you could drive them. Yeah. And it's really cool because every car has a special, like, boost ability. Uh, like, if you take, like, a regular car, you'll either honk the horn. If you take, like, a sports car, you can just, like, zoom through. And if you take, like, an ambulance, a siren goes on, and you just start going crazy fast. <laughs> it just it just sounds hilarious because you're like, you're like, Iron Man, we need you over here. And he's like, I'll be right there. <gasps> and then gets in a car or something. Yeah. 
That'd be awesome. He's like got the music playing on the radio. <laughs> it's cool because if you're Hulk, you can just like pick up cars and throw them. Rude. That's rude. Only if it's an ambulance. <laughs> and even that's questionable depending on who's inside. <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson. Anyway, so as far as gaming goes, I've been I've been playing a lot of video games. What kind of games have you been playing, Mark? So I just beat South Park, the video game. It okay. Was awesome. You don't care about South I, Park. I do not. At I, all. I avidly no. hate South Park. <laughs> uh, it's South Park. South Park. <laughs> Come on. Um, I thought the game was amazing. I, I thought it was the best. I'll say it. I'll, I thought it was the best licensed game to, to exist. I feel like they took the South Park license and they crammed as much as they could in it. And, and it, everything's there. But, okay, so uh, South Park, um, I played uh, Final Fantasy. I've been playing Final Fantasy. I brought it on the show because it's so just cool to look at. This is the limited edition for Final Fantasy X that just came out Tuesday. Yep. Have you ever played this game? That particular Final Fantasy, no. There are so many Final Fantasy games I could not find the time. But from what I've heard <laughs> you talk about it, I gather it's one that, with the HD remix, I really need to pick it up and play it. It's just, it's, it's the most tragic of the final fantasies it it i, I don't want to give spoilers away but it's it's not happy go lucky how all the other final fantasies end it, it is it is a very tragic story and so the limited edition was really cool you got the kingdom hearts edition you said it was yeah when like they this. did the it HD comes with the cool that. jacket and then it comes with the great thing about like old games and them keeping stuff is that this is it shows like all the old artwork that that was from 1999 when they mm -hmm. were still designing the game. And so it's just really cool to think like, hey, you know, you ride this thing in the game, but that's not really what it looks like, you know? And yeah, then you the just kind of get to see end. the early stages of all the things that you've grown up playing with and looking mm -hmm. at. So it's really cool, but as far as games, like there's, I, I feel like I feel like every day has been stuck doing stuff, so I haven't been able to play as many games as I as I've wanted to. Movies been playing watching been playing any movies I will say, after, since the oscars just kind of happened there was a lot mm -hmm. of big titles that came up that i had not even been aware were in theaters and one of the big ones was the tom hanks film um captain phillips captain phillips and i watched it and i really really enjoyed the movie and i've heard from some people who i guess they made a documentary on the actual story that it's not as close it's a bit exaggerated but i mean it's it's a hollywood film with one I, of the hollywood I, I hear, actors i hear so. that the movie's good but i hear that he was he, he's not quite the hero they made him out to be in the movie that the actual captain phillips wasn't as heroic as 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 they you know as they made him i could definitely understand that but purely from the perspective of acting and putting together a story whether mm -hmm. it was based on a true story or not I was very entertained the whole time. I mean, my heart was just racing. I mean, to even consider that an event similar to that happened to a person mm -hmm. is just crazy. Yeah, and I remember hearing. I remember. I remember when stuff. I don't know too much about it, but and I remember seeing about Captain Phillips, and they were like, "Oh, it's when the pirates took that." I was like, "Oh, I remember that. That was a couple of years ago." So that was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I haven't seen that one. Um, Oscar worthy movies. I saw Wolf of Wall Street. I did not see that one. It's really long, but it's really awesome, and it's Leonardo DiCaprio's. Yeah, he tends to have the longer movies. It's 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 one of his best performances for sure. If anybody thinks that Leonardo DiCaprio cannot do comedy, watch that movie. But then there's also a lot of nudity in it. So. Oh well. <laughs> for our younger viewers out there, stay away from that one. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, we saw a uh, nonstop. With Liam Neeson, are you a Liam Neeson fan? I am, as a matter of fact. I did but not you see the movie. Seen that no. Stuff. Okay, since the whole Taken series has kind yeah. of gone on, I figure mm -hmm. he's kind of just doing the same role over and over. And it, so. and, it, and it kind of is. He's 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 very you know, I, you, he's not as super like skilled and stuff as he is in Taken. In, in this one, he's an air marshal because he has a a past of, of being a, a drunk guy and <laughs> stuff like that. So so what's great about it is is then all of his morals come into question because it's like, you know, this guy is going through so much, you know, being framed and stuff, but at the same time, he's a drunk guy. So you're yeah. just kind of like, uh, the movie was good. It was just a little, 
Uh, the, the, the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, there's, like, a lot of weird stuff they did with it that I'm like, eh. I don't know if I, I liked it as much as I did when I walked out of the theater. I thought it was a great movie still. Okay. So yeah. we're getting the cue. We're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, it's time for my favorite segment, Gaming News. We'll see you in a bit. Stay tuned. Right. This message was brought to you by Javita Coffee. Change your coffee, change your life. One cup at a time. Check us out at ilovejavita.com. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. Hey, my name's Chris DeVold, the host of Sex Drugs, Chris DeVold. I've been on CentralValleyTalk.com for eight months partying on Tuesday nights, but guess what? The party's moving nights. Now I'm on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Apparently the party was just too much on Tuesday nights. So join me on CentralValleyTalk.com where I promise to bring you one live music act a week. Sex Drugs, Chris DeVold, Friday nights, 8 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. This just in. Tower District houses are selling for as little as $300 per month. If you have a job and decent credit, you can own your own home. If you can come up with a down payment, you can own a home a lot cheaper than you can rent. And your payment will never go up. Also, you could deduct most of your house payment from your income taxes. If you'd like to lock in your monthly house payment at $300 to $500 per month for the next 30 years, call Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Hello, I'm Shelly at Horn Photo, and it's time to do more with your pictures. Get those images out of your camera, off your computer, and rescued from deep within your phone, and turn them into memorable photo keepsakes and gifts. Here at Horn Photo in Fresno, we have many wonderful photo items that we produce in-house, and we're here to help you find your individual style. So now's the time. Stop by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Ease, or visit us online at hornphoto.com to explore the possibilities. I'm Mike Briggs, owner and CEO at CentralValleyTalk.com. If you like talk radio, you'll love CentralValleyTalk.com. All local, all live, all the time. CentralValleyTalk.com. Watch Mike and Athena Fridays at 1 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I'm a show producer here at CentralValleyTalk.com. We have a lot of great shows that you can share your business with our viewers. I'd love for you to give me a call. My number is 559-289-9687. CentralValleyTalk.com Welcome back to the Nerd Herders Show. Now we're talking about gaming news. Now when I say gaming news, there's, there's a lot of news going on right now. Not all of it's gaming. But a majority of the segment will be gaming news, just right. not today, because I know there's movie news you'd probably want to hear about. So, first, we're going to talk about Titanfall. Titanfall. Titanfall do you care Titanfall. at all about Titanfall? As a matter of fact, I do. I actually intend on buying a copy when they release it for the 360. Well, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, because they actually delayed Titanfall from oh. their March 25th release date mm. to April 8th. It's just around That's the corner. a shame. Well, yeah. well, the thing is, is Respawn is the one making, um, is, is, make, is made the Xbox One version of Titanfall, and they are, they are the ones who made the game. Uh, but Blueprint is the one porting it to the Xbox 360. Okay. Now there's so much going on in the, in the in the game, and and with the Xbox One version, there's a lot of cloud-based stuff happening. Cloud-based doesn't exist on the Xbox 360. No, not so really. So they're having to do a lot of workarounds mm -hmm. to make the game work. So they said, you know, they had already delayed it. It was supposed to launch all at the same time, and it didn't. So they delayed it just by what two three weeks. Now they're delaying it again for two weeks, but they're they're saying it'll be worth it. 
I so, hope so. I've seen some really cool gameplay footage of it. I really want to get in on that. I know. And, and the fact that it looks so cool on the Xbox One makes me nervous that it's not going to be that great on the Xbox 360. But the more time they take, that it's just going to be better and better. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm willing to give them all the time they need. Same thing with Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs was supposed to be a launch title for yeah. PlayStation 4 back in November. Yep. And they said, we're delaying it pretty much, they said indefinitely. And we were like, you know, uh, but Ubisoft was saying, they were saying, you know, don't worry. It's it's to make the game the best it could be. And with huge open world games like Watch Dogs, you don't want to rush it. Because then you're going to yeah. get a Battlefield 4 kind of thing where it's crashing every five seconds. Half the game's not working. Yeah. You know, like uh, Saints Row is like an open world but rushed game where yeah. all the houses kind of look the same. There's no... It's not an actual live city. There's just people walking around. Kind of like some of the filler Assassin's Creed games that Ubisoft's put out. Right. So, like, with Watch Dogs, you know, everybody, you can scan anybody, and they all have their own unique profile. So that's stuff they added after the delay. And so it's going to, I feel like it's going to make the game so much worth it. And that's finally got a release date for May 27th. Yeah. So, and that's going to be a really cool game. Awesome. <laughs> um, but also speaking about Titanfall, because I, I kind of got Titanfall in the brain right now, because <laughs> I, I am excited for it. We're so we're so Call of Duty fans that this is like a mixture of Call of Duty and Halo. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I am really excited for it. Um, but I guess Titanfall was never supposed to be an Xbox One exclusive. It was supposed to be a launch, you know, timed exclusive. But then kind of contracts happen here and there. And next thing you know, it was a lifetime exclusive. Mm -hmm. But the unannounced but confirmed Titanfall 2 is not going to be an exclusive. Really? Which makes me really happy because Xbox One, for me, is is the only reason I would want an Xbox One is for Halo 5. Mm -hmm. Halo 5 is not coming out until holiday of 2015, yeah. probably. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with Halo 3. <laughs> I got no beef with any of the old games, and so Xbox but One, there's just... <laughs> It'd be so cool. I know, but I just feel like for a console that is driven by its television-related factors, yeah. and the only thing it really has going for that would make me want it are the exclusives. And I right, mean, and that's why I'm waiting. That's why I have PS4, and the only exclusives we've gotten so far is uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I ended up playing it for 316 and got bored of it really yeah. fast. Um, Dead Rising 3, which I think was kind of a, a rushed launch title. It had all these issues with it. Um, but... So by the time Titanfall 2 comes out, you should have a PS4. <laughs> I mean, we're talking three, four years from uh, now. We'll see. I'll be, <laughs> be in college then. Most of that yeah. money's going towards the books. True. Uh, so hopefully we'll we'll be able to play that game together because it, it looks really cool. So on to some movie news because gaming news kind of dried up a little bit. Star <laughs> Wars Episode Seven yes. is releasing in IMAX. I can't wait to see a lightsaber in IMAX. <laughs> it's going to be good because I've never seen an IMAX movie before. So this Me is going to set the bar for and, future and, and IMAX every trips. Every time like, uh, Fast and Furious 6 came out in IMAX, um, there was a few other things that I was like, oh, we're going to go watch this in IMAX. Because they have IMAX here in Fresno, but we live in Hanford, and IMAX Better tickets drive. are so expensive yeah. that we've just never made the trip. But I mean, this is Star Wars. We're oh, yeah. ca we're camping out for this. Oh we're, my god, dude, we're gonna be wearing we're gonna be the dressed robes. up. We're gonna have our ultra sabers with us. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. If we're anything, we're Star Wars fans. <laughs> True that. So um, it'll be really cool. And then, uh, um, you know, Age of Ultron will be an IMAX. Captain yeah, America. Yeah. They just released the new IMAX poster for it. It'll be an IMAX. All Marvel movies from now, all Disney movies from now on are going to be an IMAX. Speaking of Marvel movies, I finally saw the final Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer this afternoon. I asked you about it the other day. Yeah. I, I hadn't watched it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for it. I mean, the new Spider-Man suit alone is so beautiful. <laughs> it's just, oh I haven't my seen God. it. It, okay. Did well, they show more of, what's his name, Elec Electron? Electro. Electro. A little bit, I think, as as a whole, they just kind of showed a lot more of kind of the scale of the movie. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, you thought that a, a well, lizard... Well, going against, what, three villains in this you've movie? You've got Rhino, Electro, and I'm not sure how integral to the story he's going to be, but there is a Green Goblin, it looks like. Oh, okay. Okay. So, well, Harry Osborn. Yeah. yeah. Well, that mean, I'm hoping that means Norman Osborn's going to be in it. They, never, they did not show him in the first one, so I'm hoping there's going to be a reveal in this one, because kind of oh, what right. they said... Oh, right. Harry Osborn's not Green Goblin. Norman Osborn. Well, okay, if you're Goblin. going by comics, Harry Osborn does become the Green Goblin later. Well, but right. yeah. So 
I, I mean, the movie looks fantastic. So many spectacular actors in it. Great special effects. And I mean, when you've got such classic villains like Rhino and Green Goblin mm-hmm. and Electro in it, and I mean, Jamie Foxx, if you haven't seen Django or even the movie about Ray Charles that he made, fantastic actor. And I think he this is, this yeah. is going to be a very different sort of role for him to take, but I think it's going to be really exciting and really refreshing. They showed him a bit in the second trailer, and he, yeah. he does look cool. Oh, yeah. I'm... Oh so, my God. so I, I know, I know you're Spider Man. I oh know God. you're 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 more Spider Man than any other superhero. Absolutely. But so you, you're definitely a hundred percent saying that you are more excited for Spider Man two than Captain America. Yes, Captain yes. America is actually my least favorite Marvel hero. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> so Captain America, IGN finally, they, IGN got to watch the movie. You know I frequent mm-hmm. IGN so yeah, much. Yeah. Uh, they got to watch the movie. They gave it a nine. They really? said it was basically perfect. They said it's it's you know it's him plus Shield, and there's there's some inside um, you know stuff going on. Yeah. So it's not it's I, I guess it's not an obvious villain in it, and mm. so that's kind of cool. But they said that the villain is very he's very. Uh, Threatening. He's very scary. I will say from the pictures I've seen, he does. He's got that creepy, like the that shadowy eye look to him, and got the long greasy hair and the metal arm. So I can understand the threatening, mm-hmm. scary aspect of that. Yeah, but um, it's hard to it's hard to really think anything actually is going to happen because. I mean, Avengers 2 is already announced. Captain yeah. America 3 is already announced. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. the thing about superheroes. It's like, yeah, they get in these situations of mortal peril, but. You, you know, know they're, they're going you know to top. You know they're going to push through. Absolutely. That's that's the yeah. point. That's yeah. But getting back to Captain America, I was when the movie Captain America: The First Avenger came out, I went and watched it thinking it's Captain America. I don't have high expectations, but after mm-hmm. watching the movie, I have to say that was one of the better Marvel like intro stories. Well, it had Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving is really okay, cool. Okay, yeah, but I mean, he you don't didn't like Hugo Weaving? Movie. No, he's cool. I enjoy him very much. No, he if was anybody, Elrond, if he was anybody, Smith, he if was anybody, Megatron. if anybody made that movie, it was Tommy Lee Jones. It was okay, hilarious. I will, I will agree with you there. Tommy Lee Jones is hilarious in that movie. I have seen Captain America one time, and it was the, it was the first midnight showing I've ever been to to a movie. Really? And it was Captain America with with my wife and and her brother. Of all the movies and, to go to a midnight show for, why Captain America? Oh, well, I just I had never been to one before. I'd never really showed an interest. I, I don't know. It just wasn't something we did all oh, the time. Man. I mean, since then, it's been yeah, so it's, many. It's so exciting going to a midnight release yeah. of movies like that where you got so many people that are so excited to see it because, I mean, that's where you that's where you meet the real fans. Yeah. Well, and the great thing about midnight releases is you, you end up sometimes getting sucky seats. We saw The Dark Knight Rises and Avengers pretty much in the front row. Yep. But the, the theaters are packed, but nobody talks. It's complete silence the entire movie because those people are are they're dedicated enough to pay. It's like what fourteen dollars to go at night at some theaters. Yeah, uh, you know you're having to stay up till midnight just just for the movie to start, and then you're watching it until three. Uh, they kind of changed it now because now it's like eight o'clock showings, but yeah. but still it's like. These are people that they're, they're not just strolling into the movies. I guess I'll watch Captain America today. Yeah. Like they waited all day and yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. plan to watch Captain America. So they're all going to keep the trap shut and watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a lot of talk about movies. So let's try and get back to games here. What other gaming news have you got for me, Marky? Well, Sony, do you know what the Oculus Rift is? I I, I dare bring it up because when we were on Central <laughs> Valley Talk. We actually yeah. talked about the Oculus Rift. Yeah, I all I know is it goes on your face. Goes on your so face. So I'm assuming some form of virtual reality gaming. Indeed. Well, Sony just announced it's called Project Morpheus. Take the red pill, uh, because it well. is red. It looks like red. Or no, it's blue. It looks. It looks. Robocop's sort of look like sort of looks like Robocop's loser brother. Um, but what's cool about it is they said it's been, it's been in production for three years. That is really rare for something to be in production for three wow, years yeah. and never hearing anything about it. Yeah, usually it's like, hey, guess what we started? Yeah. And so they are. It, they said it is, it is very much in the early stages. But it, it looks really cool. A few people have tested it. It only has a 90-degree angle. So, so what's so cool about it... So it's basically just turning... Yeah, it's it's basically you, you know you're not going to be having to uh, you're not going to be spinning like, circles. Do, get, doing uh, it, it's something you can look ninety degrees while sitting on your couch. Yeah. So it's something that you can, you know, use sitting on the couch. You don't have to be standing up. And what's cool about it is it uses 
the camera. It uses the controller, the PlayStation Move controller okay, yeah. with it. I feel like there's a lot they can do with it. Um, it's one of those things I, I'd like to try it before I buy it. Definitely, because yeah. But I mean, I, I can't see stores putting those up for demos. I know, kids. <laughs> probably not. Putting it on and sneezing into it and all that kind I know, of stuff. I know, not very sanitary. But no. it, I, it, it's something I feel like is, is really cool, but I feel like the novelty will wear off very fast. I agree with you. Uh, same that. with like the Wii. You know, it's when it was first coming out back in 05, you're just like, oh my God, that's the best thing ever. Yeah. And you have it for two weeks and you're like, I wish I had a controller in my hand, man. <laughs> this is not how you play golf. No. <laughs> this is not how you play golf. No, so, it. up next, it. we're going to be talking about uh, movies again, but more giving a... It's going to be more of a debate. So, we'll be back right after the commercials. This segment is brought to you by Mike Briggs Properties. The recession's over. It's now safe to sell your home. Call Mike Briggs Properties. For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559-486-6758, or check us out at MikeBriggsProperties.com. Lunch phone, what is your location, please? I'm in Fresno's Tower District. What is your budget, please? I only have $7. Well, that leaves you only one choice. Go directly to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District. He is having a lunch special for six eighty nine. Well, that won't leave me enough money to get a drink. No worries. Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District will get you lunch and a drink for just six eighty nine. Wow. I'm going straight to Bobby Salazar's in the Tower District to get the lunch special and drink for just six eighty nine. Thank you for calling Lunch Phone. This has been a recording. What? What? Family Grill. We grill slow. A smile. Secret sauce. Cold beer and old friends. Park out back. Look for us on Blackstone, South of McKinley. Watts Family Grill. I'm Shelly at Horn Photo, and it's time to do more with your pictures. Get those images out of your camera, off your computer, and rescued from deep within your phone, and turn them into memorable photo keepsakes and gifts. Here at Horn Photo in Fresno, we have many wonderful photo items that we produce in-house, and we're here to help you find your individual style. So now's the time. Stop by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Ease, or visit us online at hornphoto.com to explore the possibilities. Hey, my name's Chris Devold, the host of Sex Drugs, Chris Devold. I've been on CentralValleyTalk.com for eight months, partying on Tuesday nights, but guess what? The party's moving nights. Now I'm on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Apparently the party was just too much on Tuesday nights. So join me on CentralValleyTalk.com where I promise to bring you one live music act a week. Sex Drugs, Chris Devold, Friday nights, 8 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. Have you seen a house for sale in the Tower District that you might like to own? It doesn't matter what realtor in town is selling it. If you like it, check it out at TowerDistrictProperties.com. This segment brought to you by Javita Coffee. Are you losing weight drinking coffee? Find out how Javita can change your life. CentralValleyTalk.com and welcome back, everybody. That was a pretty good you know, gaming news. What do you? What did you think? It well, was, wasn't bad for, for our first time. Emphasis on the first time. <laughs> I think I'd say we made it through. So the third section is something I've always wanted to do. Um, another, uh, a couple other video game websites do it, and it's basically a. It's I wouldn't say it's a debate because I mean we could be in agreement, but it's basically, you know, here's the question, discuss. So, I brought a question today. That's definitely going to be near to your heart. Lay it on me. It's basically superhero movies. How much is too much? Well, Mark, I have an answer for you. What? Too much is more than one much, but less than three much. <laughs> that was a good one. No, um, Good one, Travis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting to lay that one out. Um, I know. Okay, so... Is that written on the back of your hand? Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> Real professional. Memorized it. So basically what I mean by that, how much is too much, is there's a lot of superhero movies. There are. Every five minutes, I'm at the movie theaters watching a superhero movie, yep. and I find myself caring less and less. That is a shame for you, Mark, because <laughs> I just get more and more excited. But so, okay, okay, excited for what? I'm excited to see characters that I've grown up with my entire life that I enjoy reading in comic books every day mm. that I play on video games and I'm not going to lie. I got some action figures portrayed <laughs> by real people on the big screen. Well, and I think that's my issue. I'm not a comic book guy. I as much as I, you know, we're the nerd earners and we do so much nerd stuff, I don't read or have any interest in comic books. You're not in that gender. You're not gender, <laughs> gender? so much. You're not that gender of nerd. No. You're <laughs> genre? Genre, that's the word. Okay. They both start with G E N. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I remember you would you would buy uh, you went to Comic-Con last year. Phoenix and, Comic-Con? Yeah, and you had bought a uh, Iron Man book. That's where you bought that, right? Yes, it is. And you were like, Mark, I'm totally floating this by you when I'm done with it. And I remember reading it at Aaron's house, and yeah. I was just kind of like, don't bother. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm on page three, and I'm so bored I want to die. Oh, Mark. No, I just, I just, I don't know. Like, I like seeing Iron Man fly. But then, like, I've tried to watch even, like, the cartoons, and he's so slow when he flies in the cartoons and in the pictures he's not moving at all. Yeah. It's a picture. So I don't know. I, I, it, it, I feel like it makes me more like vain about the movies. You know, I watched Spider-Man because I love seeing the different ways they make him swing. I, I remember I loved the second Spider-Man trailer. I'm talking for the first series, the Sam Raimi yeah. series. Because I... I Let's see if you remember this. He does it in the movie. Where he goes is, in between the truck. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's awesome. He's sitting there, he's so sitting there cool. swinging, and then he goes between, right between the, truck the truck and, and the trailer. The, yeah, oh, and I remember yep. watching that thinking, oh, my God, this movie's going to be amazing. And I, I knew nothing about the movie. There's one scene, and i got to bring it up because it's from the same movie, okay. where they're on the train, and then they go by that bridge, and he does this insane thing where he jumps up and like slips into a little slit in a mm -hmm. fence and just like spirals out of it. Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just it like, even makes that little shing it's noise so when exciting. he goes through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I, I, I recognize that it, I feel like it does. It makes me a little bit more vain about it. Is that I'm not watching it because it's Spider Man. I, I do like Spider Man and stuff like that, but I'm watching it because it, it looks cool. Yeah, you know, and they do a really good job on making sure they look cool. You know, in the new, mm -hmm. in the new Spider Man movies, he jumps, grabs a car, does a flip, and then. Then yeah. lands and is still holding, holding, holding still. the car perfectly. And I and mean, it's just it's stuff you see it in like panels in a comic, and it's like yeah. two dimensional, and you're just reading dialogue where it's just yeah. like one still. When, when, but when then you're you actually, see you're actually able what to we see are them. meant to believe is a human being, yeah. even though it's clearly CG. Right. Actually, physically does it, and it's like yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody wants to to you know be a hero, and everybody wants to to see the heroes um, being heroic, and so it is cool to watch. But um, I had mentioned in the last segment that I, I wasn't super joyed for Captain America, the first one. And so I'm not super joyed for the second one, which I, I can't remember when the trailer came out. But I remember my friend said, wasn't that the best trailer for a movie you've ever seen? See, that's going a little bit far. I feel like that is way too big of a compliment yeah. for a Captain America movie yeah. because I remember him running. I remember a scene where he's in an elevator, and you know he's going to beat the crap out of and everybody he beats in up that elevator. Everyone in the elevator. Yeah, and but I, I don't, I don't really, I didn't think it was the best trailer for a movie I've ever seen. You know what trailer is the best trailer for any movie I've ever seen? What? Apocalypse Meow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Under the title of the trailer on our YouTube channel, <laughs> www.youtube.com/nerdherders with a three. Yeah. <laughs> that looked um, like it'd be a darn good movie. It looked like it'd be a random movie. That too. <laughs> Back to topic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't know. But my thing is, is I remember when did Iron Man come out? I want to say 2008. 08. Yes. 08. There we go. I still have the ticket somewhere. <laughs> um, I remember watching it. And I remember thinking, this is all leading up to the Avengers, and then it's going to be over. When I figured out what the Avengers was, because mm -hmm. I didn't know. And I figured, yeah, it's going to lead up to the Avengers, and that's and then it's going to end. They're all going to have their own little things. They're all going to team up, and then they're going to defeat evil. Mm -hmm. They did that. Then they announced Phase 2 
uh, before Avengers even came out. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then I've even heard there's going to be a Phase 3. There's going to be an Avengers 3 as well. There like, that's already planned plans, out. yes. So you're talking, when is Avengers coming out? 2016? I believe so, yes. Okay. So then Avengers, let's, let's guess that Avengers 3 is going to come out in 2019? Somewhere around Travis, that in 2019, I'm going to be like 32, 33, like... Problem? 34. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't know if I'm going to care anymore once I'm that old. To directly answer your initial question, when is it too much? Mm -hmm. I will say when they start redoing the movies. And I do make an exception for Spider-Man because I love Spider-Man and I love the Sam Raimi trilogy. Yeah. Bordering on number three. But I, I was yeah. excited to see the new direction because the great thing about comic books and especially the heroes in them is that there's so many different authors and so many different artists out there that mm -hmm. have taken the same story and redone it so many times. Yeah. Like, I think that's cool when you do that. Like, I, I do appreciate a revamp of it when you're telling the same story but in a different way. So do you think... I mean, I don't want to use them as an example because we don't know Robert Danny Jr.'s future in yeah. the superhero industry. But do you ever... When, when do you think Iron Man's going to be remade? Do you think it's ever going to happen? I would or not are we doubt in, it. Or are we in what's going to be movies forever? You know what I mean? Like, like you know, 2019. Okay, so let's fast forward 10 years to 2029. Captain America 7's out. I'm who, hoping they're not going to go... Who's with, seriously going to care about Captain America 7? That next generation of children who's and gonna movie care? lovers. But the thing is, this, this is my problem with uh, games, movies... Um, Mass Effect 3 was supposed to be really cool, whatever. I had never played the first two Mass Effects, okay? So my issue was, now I gotta go back and play a Mass Effect 1, 60 plus hour game. Then I gotta go back and play Mass Effect 2, 60 plus hour game, just to get prepared for Mass Effect 3, you know? So the thing is, it stops becoming one game, and it's one, it stops becoming three different games, and it becomes one huge, huge game. That's I'm how totally I feel down like, for that. Okay. You don't feel like you're going to get like, you're like, oh my God, I'm so like over this game after Honestly, 200 no. okay. hours of it. Let me, let me put it this way. I have played The Last of Us, which is a decently long game, yeah. five times. Resident oh Evil 4, which you can, you can get through in a few hours, depending on what weapons you're using. I've played mm -hmm. the game, I think, nine times now. <laughs> I am, I'm the kind of guy who, if I have a series that I really like, I will go through it. I read the third Harry Potter book 27 times. I don't quit! I can't say I've even read it once. <laughs> I think I've read it once. Um, I think, I think it, it, for me, it would be this game. I feel like this is probably the game I've played the most besides yeah. like world of warcraft that i've dumped you know mm -hmm. 100 days into um final fantasy 10 i feel like is a game that i beat I, i've only beat it maybe four or five times you know it's a 60 plus hour game mm -hmm. though and that's maxing out sphere grids and stuff um and I, and I am excited for it again but my point with that was you're talking about younger generations okay so little mark jr is is you know his dad's 40 and Little Mark Jr. finally figures out that superhero movies are super cool, right? And Godfather and he's like, Travis has taken him to the midnight show. Yeah, the midnight showing of Avengers 17. Okay, how many movies does he have to catch up on? <laughs> well, see, I think that's the, that's the part where it, I'm totally okay with revamping it. Because you don't have to go back and watch right. everything. That's something where if you're really, really into it, if you're an enthusiast and it's something that you want to be a part of, by all means, go back and watch 50 years of it, Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like if I'm told, like I said, I'm totally okay with them getting new actors to retell the story as long as it's in a different way, but still getting the same morals and messages mm -hmm. across. Well, because it's like Iron Man 3. It's already happening. Iron Man 3. Yeah. You can't watch Iron Man 3 and, and get the most out of the movie without watching Iron Man 1, 2, and Avengers, right? Mm -hmm. It has a lot to do with Avengers. I feel like you can't watch Avengers unless you've seen Thor because it's got the Tesseract and Captain America, you know. Um, what else is there? Iron Man. Like, all these things make the Avengers what it is. And and, and so, so I'm going to use that. That is the newest Marvel movie right now, Iron Man 3. To get there, you have to watch... Eight or nine movies to, to fully experience Iron Man 3. Obviously, anybody can just watch it. 
But to to get everything about it, you're nine movies behind. How do you feel about that? Like you, you you're okay with I that? I feel like if the people want to watch it, and that's it, fine. It's and that's it fine. really doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, it's it takes it you're takes for the people. I am. Let them I do am. what they want to do. Them Shut eat up, Mark. Cake. <laughs> The cake is a lie. Um, I'm like, I'm tired of the cake. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, you're definitely, you you hope I am it, pro you, superhero movies. You, you I want to be going to the midnight release. No of, end in sight, and you are completely I, 100% yes, happy with that. Yes. And me, I'm kind of, I feel like it, it would be weird to live in a in a world where there wasn't another superhero movie around the corner. Mm-hmm. It's become a norm. It has I been. I think. So, it, it's, it's. I mean, people talk about escapism and going to see movies, and I mean, these are the stories I feel like people really want to see. It's like you can yeah. you can go watch Captain Phillips, a, a true story about Based this guy who was attacked and, by pirates yeah. and kidnapped and all this crazy stuff, and it's going to get you stressed out. Even though at the end like, everything pans out, okay, spoilers. Yeah. But um, you watch these incredible heroes with these incredible special effects, and mm-hmm. there's just so much going on. Yeah. It's just, I mean. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take. One more break, and uh, we're going to come back, and we're going to just finish the show out. So we'll see you in a bit. This message was brought to you by Javita Coffee. Change your coffee, change your life, one cup at a time. Check us out at ilovejavita.com. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. Hey, my name's Chris DeVold, the host of Sex Drugs, Chris DeVold. I've been on CentralValleyTalk.com for eight months partying on Tuesday nights, but guess what? The party's moving nights. Now I'm on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Apparently the party was just too much on Tuesday nights. So join me on CentralValleyTalk.com where I promise to bring you one live music act a week. Sex Drugs, Chris DeVold, Friday nights, 8 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. This just in. Tower District houses are selling for as little as $300 per month. If you have a job and decent credit, you can own your own home. If you can come up with a down payment, you can own a home a lot cheaper than you can rent. And your payment will never go up. Also, you could deduct most of your house payment from your income taxes. If you'd like to lock in your monthly house payment at $300 to $500 per month for the next 30 years, call Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Hello, I'm Shelly at Horn Photo, and it's time to do more with your pictures. Get those images out of your camera, off your computer, and rescued from deep within your phone, and turn them into memorable photo keepsakes and gifts. Here at Horn Photo in Fresno, we have many wonderful photo items that we produce in-house, and we're here to help you find your individual style. So now's the time. Stop by Horn Photo in the Bellagio at Blackstone and Ease, or visit us online at hornphoto.com to explore the possibilities. I'm Mike Briggs, owner and CEO at CentralValleyTalk.com. If you like talk radio, you'll love CentralValleyTalk.com. All local, all live, all the time, CentralValleyTalk.com. Hey, everybody, yeah. let's have some fun. Right. You only live once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Watch Mike and Athena, Fridays at 1 p.m. on CentralValleyTalk.com. Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I'm a show producer here at CentralValleyTalk.com. We have a lot of great shows that you can share your business with our viewers. I'd love for you to give me a call. My number is 559-289-9687. CentralValleyTalk.com Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Nerd Herders. This is going to be our last segment for the night. And to uh, kick it off, first... I got a, we have a show coming up in Hanford, a benefits show, actually from my younger brother. Um, last summer, he was diagnosed with stage five melanoma, mm-hmm. which is a type of skin cancer. So a bunch of local people have kind of put together 
a um, benefit show for him at the Hanford Fox Theater, and that is going to be this Saturday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. So if you got nothing else to do, come over to Hanford, and there's going to be a lot of great bands. The headliners are Midnight Wine, which, funnily enough, is a band that my dad drums for. Is so, funnily a word? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's like having to do with funnels. I yeah, know. okay. But um, So I got a story for you guys tonight. Wait, I was going to mention, at oh. the benefit, there's also another benefit. Is there really? You get to. We're gonna be there. This is true. The nerd herders are gonna oh be at the goodness. benefit. It's for your brother. Yeah. Me and Amanda, we're gonna be there. Oh, you are! I gave you tickets. We'll be yeah. there. It's gonna be ten dollars. Ten dollars. So. Yeah. Show up. There's you know, that. It's, 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 gonna it's gonna be. It's gonna be, fun. It's gonna be fun. a lot of good music, good people. It's gonna be fun. So, on to my super exciting story, which okay. is for everyone here. Can't so, wait. So, me and my father this morning went down to <laughs> a uh, local restaurant called The Star. In downtown Hanford, delicious food, super good prices. Check the it out. Star, what is the where, Star? Where is that? That is on Seventh Street, I believe, right next to the old Cafe Artworks, that was closed down years ago. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, so we're we're having our breakfast, eating our flapjacks, and my dad reaches across, grabs some sugar packets. Okay. Knocks over the salt container. Into I'll, the pancakes? No, thank oh. God. Okay. But he knocks over the salt container. I look at him and I say, Dad, knocking over salt is bad luck. You need to get some of that salt, throw it over your left shoulder right now, or something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. And he looks at me, he's like, son, I am not a superstitious man. I don't believe that. And I was like, dad, Adam's benefit is this Saturday. Do you, you really want to be playing music up do, there and have the stage of the really Fox Theater catch on fire? Do you really want to take any chances yeah. right, right now? So he looks know? at me and he just grabs the salt, throws it over his right shoulder, doesn't <gasps> think anything of it. Right shoulder. Not even 30 minutes later, we get a phone call. My dad's friend, Danny Hummison, owner of the Fox Theater in Hanford, calls him and says, Tim, I don't know how to tell you this, but the ceiling of the Fox Theater has collapsed. I haven't told Mark this. True story. The plot thickens. So the ceiling of the Fox Theater has collapsed. Color me intrigued. Yeah. And he looks at me, and I'm like, what is it? And he tells me about the phone call. I'm like, Dad, you threw the salt over the right shoulder, not the left one. This is your fault. Oh, the salt landed on the roof. It collapsed it. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. These winds are powerful. But um, the show is still going on. I was going to say, had, so what's going on? The show is still going on. We had to talk in. with the folks at the uh, Civic Auditorium, which is directly across the street. Uh -huh. They are going to supply 600 chairs, oh, and cool. the show is going to take place outside in Civic Park. So oh, cool. Still show up to the Fox Theater. The weather's going to be nice. It's been really warm and sunny yeah. lately, so it shouldn't be too hot. But then hot, cool enough at cold. night to where you're not uncomfortable. Exactly. Might want to bring a sweater just in case. Might get a little windy. I kind of like the idea. So so it's going to be outside on the Civic stage. Yes. Now. I yes. kind of like, I kind of like, I don't know. I, I, I think it's going to be fun. I kept thinking about it, and I keep thinking, you know, crowded indoors. I kind of like that yeah. it's going to be almost and, like mean, farmer mar farmer's market style. Yeah, it's exactly. It's going to be outside. Yeah, I mean, the thing about... The Fox Theater. It's a beautiful theater, and it's really been kept in good condition prior but, to this accident. But the seats are not the most comfortable. Yeah. They're kind of stiff. And, I mean, yeah. it's it's going to be a long show. There's going to be a lot of acts. So yeah. I think it's it's going to be a you little nicer. You can get up, walk around. Yeah. you might If you even want to sit on the lawn, because, I mean, it's music. You don't need yeah. your eyes all of the time. Well, and the Civic has a huge area. It really does. Yeah. So... That's cool. We shot some videos there too. Yes, we so, did actually. The, <laughs> I always I love going to some of our old locations. And Star being Wars like, yeah. Harlem Shake. Star Wars Harlem Shake, but it's not going to be on that stage, is it? No, no, no. I think it's going to be in front I'm of sure the actual doing it, auditorium. Yeah, in that kind of yeah, area yeah. where they do where they did the outdoor movies a while back. Right. right. Yeah. So, at, uh, um, uh, the, where where uh, they always put the cannon at the Renaissance Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is the cannon not there Fair. anymore? No, at the oh, you're they bring about a the, special the, the, little the cannon, cannon. I was gonna say, for the Ren Fair. They took the cannon away? No, they've still got those there really cool cannons there. Yeah, those things are hundreds of years old. It's fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my story for the night. Yeah. So, upcoming on Nerd Herders, um, we got we got a few things in the works right now. A um, hundred percent so far of this uh, of our time has been has been towards yeah. this. We, you know, we wanted to we wanted to make it good. I hope people liked it and. Uh, you know, we got another one next week, so we're, so we're going to try to work on it as much as we can as well. Uh, but we do have some videos down the pipeline. We do. Actually, we just filmed one. We're working on editing it right now, so keep an eye out for that one. And yep. we, last night, had a discussion about a few more we'd like to get underway here. We brought out the old notebook. Yeah, we the did. The old ideas notebook. Yep. And, the, and there was a lot. 
there's a lot of ideas that I did. I, I feel like I haven't even heard. Yeah, about. it was stuff that when the channel actually first started, we got together and we typed it up. And it was just like these are all the videos we're gonna. Yeah. Do. So and there's two, a couple. Two years later, the eh, notebook. We're... Not all of them have been scratched off yet. <laughs> oh, we've been slacking a little bit. But just for those of you who aren't fully aware of what we do, we have a YouTube channel. If you look right up here in this corner, you'll see a YouTube icon, a Facebook icon, and an Instagram icon. We have accounts on all of those, and it's going to be under the title Nerd Herders. Yeah. So you like can search us on the Nerd Facebook, Herders. Follow you, us on Instagram. If you if you follow us, the, the the Facebook is becoming like the central thing. If you find us on Facebook, you will find us everywhere. The nerd the 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 account is always being linked. The the Facebook account is always being linked, or, or I'm sorry, the YouTube one. The Instagram is always being plugged. Um, so if you follow us on Facebook, that's where we've been doing most of our stuff. Yeah. Uh, Instagram's kind of been, we're trying to, we're trying to, we're posting all of our videos and, and uh, not all the videos on Instagram, but a few clips here and there. Just and to kind of and a few people's interest. Yeah, a few pictures from the things. But what I'm really excited about Instagram is that we're going to be using it for more behind the scenes stuff. You yeah, know? and that's something that we actually just started doing. And yeah. I, it's I like not going to be a screenshot of the trailer. It's going to be the trailer with somebody behind the camera, and you'll actually be able to see. It's nothing glamorous when we shoot our videos, but yeah, I, I always, no matter how small the video, I mm -hmm. love being able to to know how it was made. And, yeah, you know, we've always got someone who kind of reason. watches it, and they're like, "Wow, where'd you guys shoot this, or how did you do that?" And now you kind of get a little bit of a glimpse as to what exactly gets into it. Yeah. So, and a lot of a lot of people are involved. More people than than people probably think you know sometimes sometimes it's just me and travis sitting at home uh and we'll come up with an idea and we'll try to get it done and we'll have you know one of the girls uh mm -hmm. you know film it and stuff like that but then sometimes michael parker everybody shows up and and the turnout big or small is always yeah. great it's always good i gotta send a special thanks to executive in charge of creative decisions Amanda Medina, who is here in the audience today, yeah. who has set up the Facebook account and the Instagram account, and she's always posting stuff, and she keeps up with it, and she's just been really supportive and really she helped went, us. She went completely crazy with it. A little bit, but you know, we all need an outlet for our crazy, and I think it's, it's like we it's like we were, something. we were on TV, <laughs> we were on TV, and we just, like, we, we gained a number one fan. Because that's when she made the Facebook, and it's just ever since I can't log into my Facebook without seventeen Some twenty notifications. notifications. Yeah. It feels and good. Not it's gonna it's, lie. it's, it it's really good. cool. I don't know why we didn't think of you know just all the social networking. Yeah, before. I know. We would just post it on YouTube and uh, let it ride and start working on the next video. And now you know it's more interactive. So, and that's something we want to be able to start doing with the show as well. Um, I have my phone uh, with us. We have the audience has theirs. So if people want to watch next week and they want to ask a question, we will. We, I can check during commercials, and we can open up, you know, it to to an open forum at the end. You know, the the last segment is always going to kind of be a outro, nothing really to talk about. So this is what we're talking about, kind of thing. Uh, so we're 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 thinking about setting up a Twitter. I don't know if we're 100% yet. I don't know if it's yeah. worth the time. Twitter's a little trickier to get into because it's like a lot of a lot of times you can just kind of link it to your Instagram. So maybe yeah. just doing that yeah. kind of covers our basis so you don't have to have another login. Well, we're, we're, we're Facebookers. You know, yeah. we, we both have a Twitter. I rarely use mine. I rarely check it. Facebook, I'm on several times a day, especially during times like right now where I'm seeing what people are saying and yeah, stuff like I that. I just like to promote our shows to celebrities like, hey, Benedict Cumberbatch, check out my new YouTube video. And if you want to be in the next one... Wait, I don't know who that is. Oh. <laughs> Con? That's Sherlock Holmes, Star Trek Holmes, right? Into Dark yeah, yeah. Star Trek? I don't, I don't watch Star Trek. You did Trek. not see Into Darkness. Wait, which one's that one? The newest one. J.J. Abrams? No, no, I saw the original, the 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 2007. Oh, you gotta see the new one, man. It's I, it's I, better. I don't know why. I Benedict watched Cumberbatch's it yet. tears are made of magic. Are they? It's oh my god. But that's yeah. that's Sherlock Holmes, right? Yeah, he plays Sherlock in the BBC show Sherlock. Okay, okay, that's I think I feel like that's the my bad. I feel like that's the main <laughs> thing I, I like know him from, and I've never yeah. I've never watched. That yeah, either. I mean the guy he's really getting big because of Sherlock, but now he's been in like he's getting in he's more coming American more to American films, stuff, and, and I mean he really... he's such a talented actor. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I can't I can't say enough wonderful things about him. He's very very talented. Yeah. So uh, if you want to sponsor the show, 
this is something that uh, you know going forward, you know, we 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 love doing it. We're nailing our first episode. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so if it's something, uh, find us on Facebook and just uh, just message us, and and uh, you know, we'll t- we'll talk from there. We're gonna offer different things. On how many uh, on on you know you get what you pay yep. for kind of thing. So, but uh, speaking of that, we we do have a sponsor our already. Very it's, first sponsor we would like to. Think. Yeah, it's DG Designs. She does long arm quilting and, and embroidery. embroidery. Yeah. So call five five nine three zero nine one 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 four. Ask for Diane Gil Martin, and she'll. Uh, she's a lovely lady. She'll be happy to hook very, you up. She's very nice. Um, and uh, she she does some good stuff. She does. Yeah. I, she actually is the mother of other nerd herder Aaron, the blonder one. The blonder one. I know one. he's watching right now. Yeah, you take it where you can get it, you know what I'm saying? So, so Aaron Gilmar, another nerd herder, this is your shout out. How's it going? Oh, also to my mom. I was supposed to shout out my mom's watching as well. Oh. Aww. Hi, Mars mom. <laughs> so we'll be back next week with a fresh episode, fresh gaming news. Let us know what you topics. thought, please. Let us know, and if you want us to talk about something, that first segment still a little, we'll talk about it. And that's it. Good good first show. Good first show. We'll see you guys next week. We're the Nerd Herders. See ya. This message was brought to you by Javita Coffee. Change your coffee, change your life. One cup at a time. Check us out at ilovejavita.com. Watch Tim Teeson live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. right here on centralvalleytalk.com and on digital channel 33.2. If you missed the live broadcast, we're on every Wednesday night at 11 p.m. on Comcast channel 200 and digital channel 43.5. You don't want to miss this. Centralvalleytalk.com